Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be continuing our campus tour series by doing Padova IMS. If you don't wanna miss any of these, I recommend that you turn on your notifications. And before we start, I want to give a quick thank you to Hassan and Vinicius, who are both first year uh, students in Padova. Without them, this tour wouldn't have been possible. A few weeks ago, when I was going up to Venice to visit one of my friends, I noticed that my train was going to stop in the middle of Padova. I literally had like 15 minutes before I realized that the train was going to stop there and I put it out of very like last minute desperate call on to the Instagram which also by the way is why you should follow us on Instagram because you never know if I'm going to accidentally discover I'm coming to your city and we can have a super cool hangout and it might be really fun but anyway <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really sick at the moment. I put this up on the Instagram and they replied and they met me and showed me around the campus and the city and I am so grateful to them. Uh, this video would not be possible without them. So like a huge, huge, huge thank you to them. And also I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to be able to unlock even more content from them because they're truly like really, really knowledgeable about the IMAT and the general knowledge section. And I just think uh, they were really incredible and helpful. So I'm gonna refer to them as the heroes of Padua from now on. And yeah, with that, let's get started by talking about the university and then we're going to move on to talk about the city. So starting with the university itself, Padova is more of a campus city. So it means that it has like different parts spread across the city. Uh, the IMS classes are not actually held on the main campus, which is Palazzo Bo. Uh, this is located in the city, city center instead next to other public buildings. And um, this is usually probably like the picture that would come up if you search for it in Google Images with like the banners. This is still where the graduation is held and I think that they do have the Italian medical course. Um, if I remember correctly, Vinicius was saying they do still have it there, but the IMS course is actually located about 20 minutes from here uh, on foot and next to the hospital. Now, because it was Christmas Eve, the uh, IMS class was closed, but I saw it from the outside and the heroes of Padova very kindly uh, provided pictures of the inside. I really like the inside because it doesn't look like a traditional classroom at all. It like really reminds me of a cinema, which I, I think is really funny and cute. But this is where the first year classes are held and it's literally a stone's throw away from the hospital. And um, now again, because it's not on the main campus itself, we didn't get to see any facilities like any uh, canteen or gyms or you know other public hangout spaces I do remember that Hesong was saying that uh, there is like a gym that has a student discount and it works out to be like 30 euro a month so I guess that is an option regarding the university facilities um, yeah I guess they were kind of lacking mainly because again like Padova is really small and uh, there's like no centralized campus again because it was uh, Christmas Eve everything was locked down so I didn't get to see the inside of the libraries but from the outside they just look like normal buildings. Hassan told me about this like really cool app that people use I think if I remember correctly it was called Affluent and basically in it you can see all of the libraries in Padova and what their current capacity is and like if you go can you get a seat and things like that so you're not limited to just the libraries on the campus which again were locked and you know even from the outside it was blacked out so I couldn't even see if they were going to be decent but uh, I think it's really cool that they have an app and you can see like the different libraries in the city and you know their relative capacities so yeah that's about it for the facilities kind of limited now when it comes to the hospital i really liked this like courtyard thing that they had it really reminded me of the napoli universities because both the universities in Nap napoli that have a uh, English medical courses have this like courtyard layout as well but this is actually belongs to the hospital there was like this like center like central feature and greenery and it was just really cute and I don't know like it was just really nice to walk around uh, when you cross to it to the other side you see the main hospital campus I guess for lack of a <laughs> lack of a better word uh, it's made up of different buildings and different departments um, the roads were really well paved which is usually the first thing I notice because <laughs> the roads are paved so badly but um, yeah the roads were really nice the buildings were really big and modern uh, overall the hospital looked really nice and you know there's really not a lot that can be uh, said about it and that's about it with the hospital uh, I'm going to drop some more pictures also by the way from now on for every campus tour uh, we're going to write up an article and add a lot more images and videos that don't actually make it into uh, the videos itself so if you want to see even more pictures that you know we didn't really fit into the video you can always go to the website and start checking out the campus tours as we write them because we're going to kind of use them more as photo dumps so that you can like get a much better idea of uh, the campuses but 
basically there is not a lot more that can be said about the university or the hospital because again we kind of went very last minute and there, there wasn't a lot to see so when it comes to the city the first thing that i noticed the second i walked outside of the train station was bikes there were bikes everywhere so many bikes i feel like the de facto mode of transport in padova is bike which i'm a huge fan of and this is especially really really good because padova is tiny like i knew it was going to be small but i didn't expect it to be so small like we walked from the university hospital for like 20 minutes to the city center and apparently that was like basically crossing the entire city on foot so i'm sure of course we didn't like do it from border to border but the fact that you can cover most of the city on foot in 20 minutes is mind-blowing and this is really really great uh, because it means that if you have a bike you can basically like cycle anywhere which is great now because <laughs> i don't know why i have a p obsession with public transport systems but i do uh, i wanted to use the bus in padova anyway and i bought a ticket and i got on the bus and it was actually a little bit confusing because i didn't know if i had to show my ticket or scan the ticket or if i just had the ticket and i walked on in like in rome so i'm not sure if i accidentally didn't show the driver that i didn't pay but i did anyway it doesn't matter the point is that uh <laughs> The bus driver was really nice and the buses are really, really nice. Uh, it was really clean. Uh, it was like uh, like electric and I don't know, the roads were so smooth. And so like Padova has really nice transport, but you really don't need it. Like you can get anywhere on a bike. Uh, the city feels like it was meant for bike. And even if you don't have a bike, I'm pretty sure you can walk literally anywhere. The city is so, so, so small. You can literally walk anywhere. Um, there are also trams. Uh, I do remember seeing a tram but yeah my first impression is that it is really small like unexpectedly small and bikes which you know that's a huge win when it comes to the city center like we walked around the historic center again it's really small and contained and kind of all of the streets uh look the same and you know in a nice way like not in a bad way in rome we have like a lot of massively different architectures and lots of different neighborhoods which makes sense when you consider how much like exponentially bigger Rome is um, but yeah the center of Padova it's cute and it's small and it's kind of I guess all the same but it's nice um, I thought Padova was very very cheap like we had a nice Aperol spritz together uh, which is like a very classic drink in Italy and it only costs two euro and two euro spritz might sound like pretty okay but you have to keep in mind that we were in like the center like the historic center and Aperol was only two euro and now there is also the thing the really cool thing that Aperol it was actually invented in Padova well some people say it's Venice it's up for debate but from that region so it is also possible that it was really cheap because uh, we were in the birthplace of Aperol. I still got the vibe from Padova that it was very cheap. Like even in this historic center, I felt the prices were very, very reasonable, uh, especially compared to Rome. There were two main attractions that we saw. One of them was called Prato della Valle. Let me double check. Prato della Valle. Yes, which is kind of like a big park along the river with like statues of famous uh, people from Padova including Galileo I can really imagine during the summer and spring that this place would be really really nice like when it's like sunny and you come for a picnic or to read your book and you know people are walking around I would say that's really really nice and the other one is the basilica I think if I remember correctly of Saint Anthony uh, inside you're not allowed to take any pictures or videos so I don't have any but it was mind-blowingly big and that's coming from someone who's been to uh, Saint Peter's Basilica in Rome which is the biggest in the world so I really like the basilica i thought it was really huge and between this and uh, prato della valle these are like the two main attractions of padova and that's about it like it's uh, yeah, that, that okay that's not fair to say there is a lot of other things as well that vinicius told me about um also he on his instagram like writes guides to different things in padova they are in portuguese but if you read portuguese and you want to see more about like touristic things in padova you can go follow him but yeah overall like it's really cute and quaint and you know you have some attractions but it is really not a lot to do i guess um again this is coming from someone who lives in rome which you know arguably is one of the most touristic cities in the world so there's obviously a lot to do um it was really quaint and nice and small clean um the people were really friendly i think another huge 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 plus to padova is that it is literally a student city like i think if i remember correctly the student population is higher than the general population there are some advantages to this like i think uh the population of the people who can speak english will probably be higher considering it's going to be younger educated people um and 
yeah, there's really not a lot more that I can say. I liked it, but I also liked it because I got to visit and the two guys were really nice and I had a really good time uh, seeing the place. Um, overall, I don't really have anything bad to say except that it's really small. Like, really, 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 really small. Um, which, again, I'm biased against. But overall, yeah, I say that um, I had a pretty good impression of Padova. You cycle everywhere, people seemed really friendly, uh, high English speaking and educated population. The final thing I want to say is that it is really close to Venice, like really, really close. I think on train it was less than 15 minutes. So if you want, you can also take like day trips to Venice and the other islands. I didn't know Venice had multiple islands. You learn something new every day, uh, but you can go there. You're also very close to Milan and Florence and Bologna. Like these are all places that the train regularly passes by and goes by. So even though Padova is really, really small, you're actually really well connected um, by lots of different trains. So I thought that was really cool. So that brings us to the end of our Padova tour. If you want to watch our other campus tours, we have like a playlist of them. And uh, if you guys want to make sure that you stay up to date with everything, you can sign up for our newsletter or follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm.